Hey there, Aries. It's Chronic Joy Tarot. I'm doing a sort of mid-June-ish update here for your sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, whichever one um, you're here watching, or even if you're just sort of cross-watching. Here's a little um, here's a little update for mid-June. I'm using the Doreen Virtue Ascended Masters oracle cards to give us sort of a theme and that's this deck right here Whoops. and then our reading will be using the Osho Zen Tarot which is of course my sort of go-to deck I always use for tarot okay let's see where we are here so Aries this next couple weeks you're guided to clear and shield your energy I would say this is a good idea for all of us all of the signs but perhaps Aries you're a little bogged down you're a little clogged up you're um, feeling a little um, like you're not um, progressing quickly or that you're absorbing too much of what's going on around you and sometimes we without even knowing it just take in the energy and the vibrations of things going on around us and it really can clog us and bog us bog us down clog and bog <laughs> how about that um, so let's see what you can do in order to sort of um, cleanse those residual energies that are hanging on with you and get yourself a fresh start this is our starting point the spread is called the flying bird and this is our takeoff okay the burden so I'm gonna take this literally and guess that and especially since this is a mind card the gray triangle uh, diamond um, depicts mind I'm going to say that perhaps you are like literally burdened by too many thoughts too many um, concerns for others around you um, kind of lost in the shuffle of of the burden of all of these concerns that is leaving very little room for you yourself your soul your base okay so the um, clear and shield your energy makes sense if there's anything that's tripping you up that's keeping you feeling um, sluggish like you're not progressing not moving forward uh, the answer would definitely be to work on clearing and shielding and you can Google some uh, YouTube videos that will guide you in this, or if you have your own process, it's a good idea to maybe do that every couple days or so for the next week or so, just to get your soul refreshed, okay? The, um, the position of this card is called the fear of flying, and this is going to be an energy that would stop your progress. Okay. No thingness. Notice how it's not really nothingness, but it's no thingness. So this is literally guiding you with all those thoughts and things that are weighing you down, weighing down your mind and burdening you. It's literally saying, don't focus on a thing, <laughs> on, you know, um, external things. Stop focusing on all that stuff. And take care of yourself go within go ahead and clear clear and shield if you can um, make room for your own spirit in your life okay Aries you're a very powerful very strong sign and I know I know you take on a lot of people's um, worries and concerns and for the time being just for a short time we you're guided to sort of cut that out for a little bit so that you could regain your own sense of um, awareness and connection to your own self and this is confirmed by this next card which means the time is right um, this is telling you that you know like the fruit that is ready to go it just falls right off the tree it doesn't have to be forced off it doesn't you know have to be burned off or cut off or anything the time is right to go ahead and perform your clearings if you meditate if you um, love to listen to music get up and dance whatever it is it's gonna clear your spirit 
um, or then some more traditional practices that you can, like I said, you can look those up. Um, but it's time because we don't want it to get to be too late so that you are so burdened and so bogged down that it becomes, you know, it, it starts affecting you physically, um, you know, your mental well-being, any of that, okay? So take time for yourself. And the next card I pulled is the lovers. And in this reading in particular, I'm not going to take it literally. I'm going to take it as compassion, which is really the highest form of love. And most importantly, self-compassion is going to be really important, which again, goes along with the theme of the rest of this reading. Self-care, self-compassion, take that time for yourself. You may feel that your wishes and your desires are postponed because you have too much going on as far as the concern of others. So again, it's reinforcing the idea to get, you know, get quiet, take care of yourself, clear yourself, um, be there for you, be there for you this time instead of for others as you are so good at doing. <laughs> Okay, um, the next step here is the silence card. So um, while, you're, while you are going through this process of trying to sort of put yourself back toward the top of your list, spend more time in silence. And like I said a couple cards ago, if that means meditation, um, you know, going into nature, spending that quiet time, um, getting more sleep, taking an extra hot bath, getting a massage, whatever it is that but spend that time in silence so you can sort of clear those um, thoughts and burdens that are, you know, taking up too much room in your mind. Okay? And during that silence, don't run down the laundry list of all the things you have to worry about. <laughs> Use it for real, real mind clearing. True, you know, you can have your thoughts, but observe them and let them go and really just spend that time in meditation. If you can master these energies for the next couple weeks, you will return to a refreshing um, space. This is the card of innocence, which shows this old wise figure who's lived all life, just a long, long life and has answers for everything and is so wise, but he's focused on the simplest, the little grasshopper that is bringing him a sense of wonder, like through the eyes of a child. And that's sort of a, um, a phase of refreshment you know a refreshing way to see things and I really feel Aries if you can master some of this shedding of the um, burdensome thoughts and ideas that are going on if you have them if they feel if you feel like they're weighing you down and you can work on shedding some of those you will end this month feeling vital and um, refreshed and sort of like pressing the reset button Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, mid-month update and I look for us in July again and of course the weekly updates are always posted on Mondays, the general readings. Aries, take good care of yourself and if, you, um, if this resonates for you, make a little comment and let me know because it's always um, a curious thing to see if I'm reaching those who, um, who this resonates for. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.